What up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. We did a little crash earlier. That was good times. Oh, I like these lands. I like Grizzly Spectacle, Crumbling Necropolis, Orzov Signet, and Mist Raven. Those are my those are my bays. I kind of like Crumbling Necropolis. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just be honest, guys. I love you guys to death. You know I do. But, like, when I'm trying to, like, troubleshoot an issue that is, like, literally the difference between me being able to literally work or not work, and you guys keep making jokes about, like, solutions, it's it's almost... Sometimes it can be more frustrating than helpful. And, like, I, I hate to say it because I know you guys know, but, like, I really just do want an answer because, like, it's really frustrating whenever I start streaming not knowing if it's going to crash and I'm going to lose content and time and, like people invested in the content you know and, and and like to 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 be to have that concern um every single time i start a stream <laughs> currently um it's rough i'm just taking crumbling necropolis so we've had really good luck with like grixis based decks or like three color decks where you can take a bunch of powerful cards and the decks we haven't had much luck with is like green white so you know That being said, I love you guys and I really appreciate you. It's just I'm 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 frustrated by this stupid issue, so uh, Ghoul Collar's accomplice. I also think you want two for ones here. I think Crusher's probably pretty good. No, Phil, don't even worry about it, man. It's it's not it's not just you. Like like everyone it's funny because everyone like loves making jokes about stuff like this, but I'm just like, dude, this is like it's like when I ask for article stuff. Like these are questions that I'm serious about and I really like I really need answers. Like this is a situation where I'm like, hey, my article's due tomorrow, I really need to know what to write about. And you guys are like, let's talk about physics of uh, spaceships in the uh, Star Trek. And I'm like, I can't write about that. Like <laughs> You know, so it's just a situation where like my audience <laughs> ironically is an audience that likes being funny and that's that's good i think that's generally a good quality but it's also people who like try who, who like <laughs> want to be funny at the wrong times almost where i'm like okay listen right now i just really need to figure out this situation this solution this uh this issue you know what i mean does that make sense um we have bestial menace which is very, very good, but also double green. Or we have Nameless Inversion, which goes well with Crumbling Acropolis and Arhim to Torok. Yeah, so I've had two issues today. The first issue was NVE and C error. Too many concurrent sessions when I tried to record an OBS. Um, nothing else was recording. There were no other sessions going. So I don't know what that means. The other one, I got an encoder error, uh, which is the second or third time I've gotten this error since installing my 3080 Ti, which is the video card I'm using. And that error just crashes Twitch, or no, or ca it, ca it crashes OBS for me, both streaming and recording. So whatever content I'm making or whatever stream I'm, I'm doing is gone. I'm going to take Nameless Inversion. I think it's probably safer. Ooh, Cloud Reader Sinks is nice. Yeah, okay. So yeah, it's just, it's frustrating. Like, because earlier I was in the middle of a draft, I'm recording this video, I'm going to upload it to YouTube, it's content I'm making, and... Uh, not only does it crash the stream, but I can no longer record. So I have literally no way to get the second half of that of that draft. So it's gone. Like I can't start recording again because OBS won't let me. And I'm not streaming anymore, so I can't download it from Twitch. So it's, it's actually a really frustrating situation for me. Especially because I don't know when it's going to happen. It could very well happen during this, during this draft. You know what I mean? So it's just frustrating. So I apologize, guys, if... Uh... Axe is sweet. Riddlesmith is sweet. Esperzoa could be good, but we have no artifacts. Tumble Magnet's good. I think I like Tumble Magnet a little more than anything else here. We could also take Mystic Gate. Video before this was a 1080 Ti. I've upgraded to a 3080 Ti. Same family of video cards. It's both by NVIDIA. They use the same GeForce drivers. So it's just a weird situation. I'm going to take the Cliffs. Land is good. But closing anything, everything in Task Manager isn't really a solution. It's just literally a... It, it 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 doesn't tell me what's wrong. It just fixes the problem temporarily. You know what I mean? Oh, what up, Michael B? Here's a Bloodfell Cave. I'll take a Bloodfell Cave. Uh, 
Have you checked to see if Nvidia Shadowplay is turned off? I have not. I'm also not entirely sure where to find that setting, so. Anyway, the point is I love you guys. I was just frustrated. It's still frustrating. I don't know if we're an Augur of Bolas deck, but we could be an Aether Flow deck. Hmm. Okay, hold on. It's in GeForce Experience? I never cared much for Mutant Skies. Oh, Ghoul Caller's Apprentice was a card I was going to take anyway. This is just an Exile Graveyard guy. Yeah. Okay. Open NVIDIA from the pop-up. Click the Shadow Play button in the top right corner. I still don't think I see it, but hold on. Skywing Aven is probably fine, especially if we get any Madness cards. I'm going to take Frogmite. I'm going to see how many artifacts we can get. It's just, it's a better hedge than Wings of Velisville. Where is the friggin' Shadow Play? Oh, Corridor Monitor. That is an artifact for our guy, and it's also a fairly okay blocker. <sighs> In-game overlay... I'm going to I'm going to turn off in-game overlay cuz I never use that anyway, so I don't know why that's on. Yeah, I don't see the shadow play button in the current or in the uh, in the current uh, GeForce experience. Yeah, like if you look at it now, like it's just literally my name, and then there's settings, share. I assume this is a share button of some sort. Notifications, open in-game overlay. I don't want to do that, but it's gonna do it anyway, I guess. Oh God. Oh god, how do I... Oh god, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. I like Mana War here. I also do like Cascade Bluffs. I also like Bloodhunter Battle a lot. I think I'm going to take Mana War. I think Mana War might be better. It may have been renamed in Game Overlay. Hmm. Well, now you might be onto something. Hmm. Another nameless inversion? I remember Ashenmore Gouger being a beast. I mean, he was always an elemental warrior, but, you know, a beast is in, like, you know, a beast. I'm going to take nameless inversion number two. It's good. We know it's good. Garna is interesting. Oh yeah, Kerwood, that's exactly what I just did. That 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 link you sent me. That's I just clicked. That's exactly what I did. I just turned it off. I don't know if it's I don't know if that's the problem or not, but I think we're just taking our Kaomancer. So far we have double nameless inversion, him to Torok, and uh Aether Toe. I think that's actually fine. I've actually liked Skinwing. Acre Wellspin could be really good with uh Esperzoa though. And we have a Frogmite. We could even get more, uh, like, Mirror Enforcers and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to take the Wellspring. I think the upside is higher. Wow, Miss Meta Witch is actually really ridiculous, especially with something like Cloud Reader or Mana War. Yeah, this card's basically a bomb. Yeah. 
Oh, it takes a white to activate. I forgot about that. I thought it was. I thought it was still. Um. Oh, it's frustrating. I would say we can be Esper, but we have three lands that fix red, not white, so. <sighs> that is unfortunate. Alright, I'm gonna put you over here. I think it's just Stoic Rebuttal here. Again, it gets we can get it back with our Kaomancer, and it's just actually better if we have more artifacts. The Carapace could be good too, but I think Stoic Rebuttal is probably a better choice. A Chroma's pretty interesting. Jeez. Are we sure we're not white here? The problem is we have like one fixing land if we're not white. I think it's just Kindle here. Oh, geez, are we sure we're not right, white here? Okay, what does this guy do? Has flying if you control a dragon. We don't. Okay, yeah, it doesn't do anything. I think we just take Child of Night here. Or Merrick Nightblade. Do we have anything else that gets counters on it? Not really. I almost don't hate Dragon Egg. I'll take the Azorius Charm. Ugh. I'll take the Child of Night. Whatever. I'm not going to like... I think having just a Child of Night is probably just better than having a random... Okay, we were hoping for... Um, the bat to come back, but the Cascade Bluffs is also pretty decent. Cinderstorm is nice, but seven mana. I think I'd rather just have the fixing. Also, Ashen Morgadger is pretty decent. That's a dude that attacks. Don't care about you. Generate creature, draw a card. Whatever. I'll take Reckless Charge. <sighs> oh, Metallic Rebuke seems good. So does Glaze Fiend. This whole pack is artifact based because of the Double Masters theme. Oh, the bomber came back. I was actually hoping the bomber would come back. Man, Jareth, we could have Jareth and a Chroma. Fire Blast is always good. Predatory Night Stalker, not bad. Ophidian, not bad. I kind of just like Fire Blast here. <laughs> oh man, how's how's the how's the little boy doing? Um, take Predatory Night Stalker. I think it's probably Predatory Night Stalker in this deck. He's back to normal now. Oh, Riffling Cloudskate is great. Ryusei also pretty good. It's a 5-5 five, five flyer. Ryusei not the best dragon. I mean, dealing 5 damage to each creature without flying is not always the best. <laughs> Fiery Fall also good. I think we're just taking Cloudscape. Oh, Mist Raven? Yes. Deal. So now we have Mana War, Mist Raven, and Riffling Cloudscape. That seems good. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any cycling cards in our deck. Like actual zero. I'm going to take some of these artifacts out that don't really fit. And I actually kind of like Solar Blast. Like Solar Blast is just good. 
three damage to anything is fine. I was able to find Fresca Black Cherry and all dressed potatoes. Dude, I haven't found Fresca for months because I know there's a there's like a shortage because of COVID. Velican Dismisser is great, especially when we have no other six drops. I have been missing some fresco, my dude. I do like Flight of Fancy. It's just a nice draw too, most of the time. Is this Drake also pretty decent? Yeah, we don't have many draw cards. I'm going to take Flight of Fancy here. I think that's fine. We also have 12 creatures, which is also good. Dark Dusk Legion Zell, it's fine. I really like Hortusar, but we're not a Hortusar deck in that we don't have white mana. Sacrifice two creatures. Oh, this is the enchantment that, like, is not great. Peregrine Drake is fine. I wish it was a 3-4, but it's still free. Probably taking Rebuke out. And maybe Stoic Rebuttal as well. Like, I don't think they're nearly as good without a good... Fire Blast came back? I mean, I'll take Fire Blast. Jeez. Oh, it's because Coke is limiting the flavors they're producing right now because of can shortages. Oh, that's crazy. That's also really good to know. Spellstutter Sprite. Actually, it could just be Worm Harvest. Triple black, but not bad. I actually like Mud Butt. <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. I like Mud Butt. Take Killer Whale. Sprite is still a 2-1 flyer. It's a 1-1 one, one flyer that uh, eats a card. I feel like Worm Harvest can actually be pretty decent. Maybe not. I don't know. Like, the problem with Worm Harvest is that the first time you cast it, it's always going to be 1, and then it's just... Or it's always going to be 0 most of the time. Our mana's pretty good. Yeah, this seems fine. I don't think we have any other cards that we're really super excited about playing. I do like Ulamog's Crusher, but without any, like, ramp or acceleration or anything like that, I don't feel like it's super good. This is eight. Probably don't need eight. Four, five, six. Four, five, six, seven. So this is seven, seven, three, four. This is seven, seven, seven. We get one more. Probably one more blue. Five, six, seven. I think we can go to six on here. I think eight, eight, four, five, six, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. I think I like I think I like eight eight six. I mean it leaves us fire blasting for mana instead of uh Sack and Mountains in the future most of the time, but what can you do? Hold on a second, I gotta go check something real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, let's play this match.
what's happening right now. Looks like the internet crashed for a second. That was good. Oh man, it's a good thing we're about to eat black. Danny, welcome back for the 27 months, man. Really appreciate it, my dude. I feel like I can't keep this hand. This is a little better. Could put Aether Toe back. Yeah, this is good. Real original, buddy. Danny, I appreciate you, my dude. What a magnifying glass. Okay, well, this is... Here, is, here we go. Six to three again. Maybe they're on the same course. Hmm. Huh. Thank you, Resto. Seems good. Big Lou, thank you for the reset, buddy. <laughs> you stupid piece. Of God damn. I mean, I'll take it, I guess, but it's aggressive. Um, hmm. So we can make this a 6 1 and block. Two for winning ourselves, but. Of course, that's out of love and respect. I knew it. Uh, we're just taking two here. I mean, obviously, because uh, we couldn't cast Nameless Inversion mostly, but, you know. The problem is I don't want to bounce this because then they blink this and get a zombie out of it. And I don't want to bounce this because then they get a zombie out of it. So it's really kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, you know. I think we keep both of these. Put on top and put on top. Hey, nice magnifying glass. not bad it could be worse could be worse <sighs> sure doesn't do much here we can get rid of resto huh but then they just cast it blink this guy get a zombie out of it so that seems worse Ugh. 
I mean, bouncing the Sphinx could be fine, but I don't really like that. I don't like the defensive position that puts us in with at 13. Like, then we don't have a, a great double block against this. We don't have a great double block against this. Yep. I don't know why they didn't crack wait for his bubble last turn, get a land, so then they could actually still do this and have an extra land in play, but... Okay, see that's fine. Now we can now we can bounce that guy. <laughs> okay, so something's fucking something's wonky here. I'm closing I'm literally just closing Firefox right now because it's super resource intensive. Mike B, I saw your message. Uh I don't need the green one, but I, I do need the white one and the Apex Devastator. So And we got a real Fuck, double nameless inversion, huh? We could attack for seven here. We can kill the Arantephemeron with double. Or we can kill the Resto with double nameless and then mana war the Arantephemeron. Attack for seven, put them to nine. Then they block here on the next turn and take four. No, let's not use black. I mean, I'm fine with just getting three free points in here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that was better, actually. We permanently grew a resto for one nameless inversion. We did less damage, but, like, we know they have a rant ephemera on it. We can actually deal with this guy. Presumably, we're just going to top deck a, a fire blast. This is the child of the night. Oh, oh. oh yeah. I mean we're just gonna attack with Skywing Aven. I'll gladly trade for Rant Ephemeron. We're definitely in a two for one position here. Well, I guess I'll attack with both actually. I don't care which one they kill. Oh, they kill none. Seems fine. Hmm. Oh, Tarot's faithful. That's obnoxious. Not on the ground, but you know. Finally.
I would wholeheartedly advise against putting pup, pepper jack and mayo on your pizza. I mean, I'm no, I'm no Gordon Ramsay over here, but I just get a feeling, you know. Thank you. Badger with the 31 months. Oh my god. I appreciate you, buddy. Okay, that's what we're looking for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could play uh, Little Mog's Crusher right now if we had it. Well, I mean, it was good enough last turn, so it's good enough this turn. We're just going to attack with both. Let's see which one they block. Got to block one of them, right? Yeah, just keep, you're just going to keep taking four every turn. This is wild. Oh, fairy mechanist. <sighs> what if you pepper jack mayoed your pizza, then folded it in half like a taco so the mayo dripped out? What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Thank you. I hate this format. I thought I liked it. It's I hate it. What do they get? Wayfarer's bobble every turn. That's not super exciting, but it's still a five-five flyer to go with their four-four flyer, and their three-four rare flyer, and their two-two flyer. Oh, Badger Thank with the gifted you. subs. Badger, you are quite literally the gift that keeps on giving, my dude. <sighs> Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Okay, well, we drew a land, so that's that's nice. I don't know why you cycled this. It's just like a really good threat here. Yeah, I'm just going to pass here. Sharoom can get back Wayfarer's Bobble, so okay. Yeah, mayo as a legit topping in Japan does not surprise me at all. Huh. Instead of Shroom, you play Morph Creature and Fathom Seer. I guess you could play a replay of land. All right? And then play Shroom? Yep, that's pretty good. Oh boy. Why wouldn't you play Shroom there? So we know they have Island, Shroom. Do they got a sweet counterspell for us? I've had a few near misses, wow. I asked the librarian if they had any books on different noise levels. The librarian said, sure, what volume would you like? I don't know if I get that, hold on. I asked the librarian if they had any books on different noise levels. I said, sure, what volume would you like? Hmm. So if we trade with one of these guys, right? It's six, seven, eight, they go to four. What volume would you like? Oh my god. Oh god. Hmm. 
It doesn't matter if you're tall, short, fat, thin, rich, poor. At the end of the day, it's night. Yeah, so I think this is what they were waiting for. They wanted to get more value than just Wayfarer's Bobble, so now they can get Mechanist back. And they can spin the wheel one more time. And they missed. Okay, so you know they have an island. Do they play a land this turn? Fact of the day, unlike the rest of the United States, the U.S. state of Arizona does not observe the daylight savings time. However, the Navajo Nation, located within Arizona, does observe it. The Hopi, the Hopi Nation, located entirely within the Navajo Nation, follows Arizona and does not observe it. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. It's like four different levels of daylight savings time. What fucking time is it? <coughs> Oh man, that's actually wild. Man, you guys just tricked me into opening Firefox and I did not want to. Alright, so... Okay, so we actually just win here. That's insane. They have two flyers. We attack with everyone. And then we solar blast their face. Wow, that's really good. Grind it out. Second fact of the day. According to both the British Sandwich Association, the BSA, in case you guys were curious. Wow, I'm surprised we won that. That Their deck seems significantly better than ours. Um, I'm definitely bringing in more counter spells. <laughs> um, bring in metallic and stoic here. I really wish I had an efficient way to activate this guy. I, I really wish it was a uh, white blue hybrid to activate. According to the British Sandwich Association and the USA's National Hot Dog and Sausage Council, a hot dog is not a sandwich. Oh, wow, that's good to know, actually. Last fact, you transfer more germs through a handshake than you do through a 10 second kiss. That's interesting. Also, handshaking is pretty disgusting. The older I get, the more gross I think it is. <laughs> I actually don't think Predatory Night Stalker is that good against them because they, eh, I guess they can sack. Actually, it's probably fine still. I'm probably going to take out Kindle because I don't think it hits as many things. Actually, we know it doesn't. And I'm probably just going to submit like this because I'm an actual maniac and 41 is fine. On this day in 1776, George Washington's retreating army crosses Delaware River from New Jersey. That's a big deal. Washington crossing the Delaware is legit, quite possibly, one of my top three favorite paintings. Um, I first saw it when we went to the Met in New York. And if you guys don't know, it's literally just Washington looking real stoic crossing the Delaware. And um, it's one of the most impressive paintings I've ever seen in my life. It's absolutely humongous. <laughs> it's like six feet long. And uh, it's just a really, really, really impressive painting. And it's very kind of humbling because it's obviously, you know, from America's early, early history and whatnot. It's just really great. On this day, in 1963, the NAACP files suit to equalize salaries of black and white teachers. Wow, that seems, that's significantly earlier than I would have expected. Actually, I'd be tempted to, to discard the Ghoul Caller's Apprentice to save this guy if I needed to. Are they going to whiff again, you think? I'll get a shroom. I, oh, they whiffed again. Dang, this is 0 for 3 with this guy. Oh, come on, really? You're going to deny me a land here?
Meanwhile, they're going to have six next turn. That's pretty good. <sighs> I guess they did play first. Finally, on this day in 1542, Mary, Queen of Scots, Queen of Scotland, was born in Linlithgow Palace, Scotland. God, 1542. That was almost 500 years ago. Wow, two, another fairy mechanist and another whiff. And this also has a blue tinted border, whereas this guy has a more gray tinted border. That's interesting. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bounce your fairy mechanist. Uh, I mean, I'll risk you hitting again if it means. Come on. If it means you have to spend four, because like right now we're playing a tempo game. One, two, three, four. They have six mana. They're going to play a Rant Ephemera on here. Sure. They can just bounce two things. They didn't do anything. And we didn't draw another land. This is fucking amazing, dude. The number of my games that come down to literally just not having lands is pretty pretty staggering. Yeah, of course it's always going to be this. We're never going to have a counter spell or a land in our hand, even though we boarded multiple of both in. Yes, we boarded multiple counter spells in. That's correct. Let's see if they hit again. Wow, four whiffs. Tap you. Yes, when they don't play their fairy mechanist again, it's very, quite obvious that they have Resto there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How many? They have like two artifacts in their deck. They've literally seen one, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Blink this guy. Seven, eight, nine. Bounce this guy. They've seen twelve cards. They've literally had more fairy mechanist triggers than we have lands. So that's kind of fucking hilarious. We can actually kill this, tap this. They have one card. <laughs> oh, God. You gotta be joking. ridiculous <sighs> still no counter spells still no fourth land still almost just barely winning yeah Yeah. 
Hey, it's a fourth land. Still just doesn't do anything. We can't cast him. We can't cast Bomber, Solar Blast. Like, we can cast Flight of Fancy, Archaeomancer, which gets back Nameless Inversion. And... Oh, God. Just kind of exhausting. Like, they draw more, they drew more rares that game than we drew lands. So. Cool. Once you learn how to shuffle, you're going to be great at this game. I agree with you. My time is coming, buddy. You just wait. It's all in the wrist. Oh, Badger with another gifted sub. Thank you so much, my my dude. Appreciate it. Preach. You know what? I'll keep this hand. Flight of Fancy on this guy could be good. <laughs> so it's funny because game one was a really long, drawn-out battle where they drew their bombs and I had to fight against them. And game two was a really short, drawn-out battle where they drew their bombs and I did nothing against them. So let's see if... What kind of game three will be against their bombs? If we pay one, does it stop being in the wrist? <laughs> no. It never stops being in the wrist. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping my, my gentleman could get in there and do some damage, but... Sultai Sul Skull Keeper? Why do they have multiple these multiple these mill two cards in their deck? I mean, theoretically, we could have waited to put Flood of Fancy on this guy, but I honestly, I mean, that we've seen two Fairy Mechanists and a Restoration Angel. I don't think a two one with flying is really gonna. Okay, well, we know what that is. Fucking, of course we hit the flashback card. Seems good. <laughs> We're really just doing this draw two and get some points in there. I don't think it's great, but it's a thing. I, we have to assume this is Fathom Seer, so. So now they're going to play a land and bounce our goblin. They didn't do anything. They did nothing. Eventually we don't have an artifact here, otherwise... If they rest out, yeah, we're definitely metallic rebuking this scumbag. I mean, if they want to actually pay five to Silent Departure or Goblin Token, they can knock themselves. <laughs> wow. Was not actually expecting that. Fathom Seer? Yeah, next turn we're just going to play Thank you. And attack for a million. Badger with a gifted sub. Thank you so much. Man, you're on a roll, my dude. Badger, as always, keeping me alive. Seems good. Seems good. Archaeomancer getting back escape. Cool, cool. Super cool. So, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, 
mean, they were virtual four with our fire blast, so. Yeah, Conspire says as you cast it, you can tap two creatures that share a color with it if you do copy it. Yep. <sighs> Riffling Cloudscape. Cool. That's eh, actually not the worst, I guess. Oh, they didn't even choose that. Oh, they, they're going to blink their own Archaeomancer. They might be dead here. They block here. They take four. Hmm. I mean, we're still going to attack. Make them. Yes. Yes! <laughs> they haven't seen Fire Blast, so... Fire blast in the hole. Got him. Oh, DC Sports 8. I didn't even know it was you. Good games. Good games. Yeah, I mean, we had really good red fixing, so we had about seven sources of red. It didn't really have to be mountains, necessarily. Yeah, your deck seems really good. <laughs> I was not looking forward to having to play against the bomb flyers. Oh, I never saw you to row horrors. Yeah, you poor thing. Man. You literally, you literally triggered Fairy Mechanist more times than I, I had lands in game two, so. You know. <laughs> Some guys have no luck. I will keep this hand. Alright, not bad. Any red or black source is good here. I like it. So we can either guarantee an Ashenmore Gouger on turn three, or we can play Child and risk it. I think we're going to risk it. Or not, not risk it, rather. We're just going to guarantee it. And we can Flight of Fancy it as well, which is pretty decent. Would we? Oh, we would have gotten there, too. Yeah. Yep, had a feeling. We'd be attacking for two right now if we just took a little chance. Mother of runes. Well, the only thing we can realistically play is Child of Night here, so... Oh man. Never mind seeing a brainstorm in limited. Just not a huge fan of the normal format brainstorms. All right, let's see if we can Four cards. They played nothing. Of course, it's going to be a meta. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. Yep, that's annoying. I always wonder, like, if you're able to play two counter spells by turn five, like, how many actual counter spells do you have in your deck?
They let this resolve pretty quickly, so. Nope, never. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yep, fucking amazing. Three for three on answers here. Seems good. Yep, that's a thing. Oh, look, you got Mother of Runes up too. How nice. So basically, I just can't deal with your splashed Mother of Runes off of one planes. <laughs> yep, just got to pass here. Can't play Dismisser when they have Mother of Runes up. God, Mother of Runes is a real scumbag of a magic card. Scrivener, yep, seems good. Get you back a counter spell. Turn to mist. What? Isn't that just worse than counter spell? Yeah, I think I think flickering scrivener to get back counter spell is pretty greedy. I was really hoping they do it there, but they didn't, which is good. It also doesn't make any sense. If you're going to flicker Sc Scrivener just to get back... Um, <laughs> just to get back Counterspell, like, just get back the Counterspell and then you have the Counterspell. Just real time to concede this game. Like I don't, I don't see how we win this. Like Mother of Runes is just fucking stupid, and it's not really fun to play against. So that's cool. I think we can bring in Stoker, but I'll take out either two. Bringing in Crusher actually not a terrible idea, to be honest. Uh, you know what? Sure. <laughs> very far off this guy and very far off this guy, but... We saw double counterspell from them, so what do we do? Bring in Cancel, obviously. Aether Vile. Jesus. Oh, God. Yep, oh, another blue source. Sounds good. Third blue source is really what we're looking for. I think we have four total in the deck, so it makes sense that we draw... The uh, one of two remaining blue sources in the deck. That checks out.
You know, someone leaving a hotel does check out. That's true. Just want the record to show that both of my previous opponents, this one and the first round opponent, were both playing three to four color decks. Um, so any, if anyone, before preemptively, before anyone wants to complain about the amount of colors I'm playing in the in the comments, um, doesn't seem valid. <laughs> so. Yep. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we board in a Stoic Rebuttal, and the card they play is Aether Vile against it, so that's that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, fucking god. This format is absolutely terrible. It's just so lopsided, dude. Oh, God. I never have to cast a spell again. <laughs> Tribal Jellyfish? I'm in. Let me guess. Ghost ship. Totally ghost ship. Good job. You never told me what you want for Christmas. <laughs> I have no idea. All I want is the love and support of, of my regular viewership. What are they attacking with the creeping tarpon here? Tell me. <laughs> Uh, the pressure is so real right now. Okay, so you got four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Manowar bounce this. They can't replay it. They have to cast it. Let's just keep up Stoic Rebuttal as well. But they have five cards in hand, so, you know. Just actually done. Just, just fucking, just take your fucking stupid deck and get out of here. Oh god. And seems very good at least. Alright, maybe we can 2 1. Who knows? Creatures would be good. Curd Ape. Well, I'm sure that guy's going to be humongoid soon. Battle Rattle and a Chartooth Cougar. Okay. Well, there's a 2-3 Curd Ape. Like you do.
Turd Ape? Turd Ape is right. Okay. Well, Thank you. Steven C., welcome back. Really appreciate you, buddy. Forest Cycling. Sounds good. There's the forest. That guy's good. That guy's okay, I guess. Alright, well next time we can dismiss her, but I don't really want to be dismissing Mastin Myers, as you can imagine. How about I get you a scarf for Christmas? I actually have a ton of scars, but that's a good idea. I actually do love good scarves. I'm going to block here. If they don't play anything else, we're going to put this guy on the top. And I don't know. They have to play like a two-mana creature in order to get back this guy. Which does not look like they're doing. Or maybe they are. I don't know what's going on. Oh, they're going to search for tomorrow. Man. Oh, God. I don't even want to put this back. They're actually going to just play the Master Myers again. That's pretty stupid. Oh, they're just going to play something else. They're going to play Kavu Climber. Sure. Yeah, our draws have been fucking terrible. We have one card in hand versus their five cards, four cards in hand. And they mulliganed and we him to Torok them. So I don't even understand. Yep. Wow. This is this is terrible. I, I, I thought I knew how to draft this one in the very beginning, and now I feel like every deck is just completely outclassing mine. I don't really understand it, but you know, I'm not I'm not smart. So, yep. Keldon Champion. So this costs four. So if you draw any land, you get to do that. Any plans for New Year's? I don't have any plans for anything. I mean, it's COVID still. It's 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 our COVID here is is still way worse than than you guys' COVID. So We virtually don't have it here. Man, it must be nice to listen to scientists and scientific advice. That sounds like a real cool thing to to do. So now they have killed and champion in hand. Deals us three for four. But they didn't attack with it, which is kind of weird. And within they just play Kelton Champion, nug us for three, and get back the Mast Admirers, right? So. Don't really see a great way out of this, unfortunately. Nest Invader instead.
seven cases in the last 24 hours. Oh my fucking god, the United States is a fucking disgrace. Hmm. Well, that's a thing. Oh, cool. So, they play this guy, they deal us three, they attack with everything. We bounce this guy, we take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and go to one. Four, five. Can't play everything. Yep, alright. Looks like one, two incoming, unfortunately. I think Crusher just needs to be in the deck. <laughs> Good lord, dude. I don't know how we lost these games, but like I just I just don't think our deck has any sort of like I don't know. My butt torch runner might be better than Tumble Magnet as well, so All right. Oh, nice. Sure. I think we're just too far from playing Ashen Gouger here, unfortunately. If we draw black, we can play Bomber and Nameless Inversion. If we draw another blue, we can presumably play Mist Raven. Swamp? Man of War. Come on, land. I did register 41 cards, that is correct. I, you'll have to clarify what the problem is. <laughs> uh, well, as expected. <laughs> oh, good times. They did nothing. Just like us. Yay! Oh good, they have four lands. Yep. Yeah, so we're just gonna bounce a land so that this guy dies. 41 is a lucky number, I think. Is that true? Man. I have not been feeling that. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Two lands. Turn five. Seems good. That is not an unusual occurrence. I agree. Here we go. Hey, look at that. I do like a Kavu Climber. Black Source. You know what? Thanks for nothing. It's funny that he's called a Climber, but he actually can't block Flyers. You only see a typical deck has an average of 24 lands. Frank, you're only running 16 to 17. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I guess I'm running seven, 7 fewer lands than I should be. I didn't even think about that. Here we go. Six mana. Colossal Dreadmaw. No, it's going to be something much stronger than that in, in Vintage... in Master's Chaos Draft. I believe. In the heart of the cards. Yeah, it is a Titan. A Titan might be possible. Right? I don't know if there's Titans in this format. Were they reprinted in any of the Master sets? I'll take three here. Stang. Yes, please play a Stang. I will bounce it with Miss Raven. I'll bounce the token. Okay. Wow. One, two, three, 
four. Bounce the netty boy. Okay, I was like, wow, please. I clicked all three of them, then I hit F6, and they slowly chugged along into the attack step, so. 42 is the answer to the universe. Have you ever thought of trying around 42? Or are you afraid such things might reset the simulation? It's a, it's a little, a little column A, a little column two. Column A, column two. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. The best part is when you watch me lose my mind straight on stream. A reset might be what the simulation needs. Even if it's not in the draft, somehow they have it. Wow, how did you get that Primeval Titan? Eh, you know. Just good, I guess. Yeah, you're really good. Congratulations. I'm over here playing Mud Butt, mud butt Torch Runner. I have. I've even been like, hey, thanks for all the fish. Never works. Fires of Yavimai. Okay. Maybe that's what they were going to play. Maybe it was both of these. Maybe they are going to play both of these guys. I don't know. You think they attack for five here? This is three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, not blocking them. Okay. One, two, three, five, six. Can we win here? Let's try. I think we should have floated this guy. Three, four. See, the funny thing is, if we had a black source, we could definitely win. We could kindle their face. Nameless inversion, this guy. We're going to hold this guy back. Just attack for six here. But the problem is, if we don't hit a land, we're in the same position, so... I mean, it still wins us the game if they don't block, so. Show me that smile. Yeah, you kind of have to block here. Oh. Or you don't. Oh, you do. Okay. Column A in hexadecimal would be cool to call them 10 in decimal. <laughs> oh man, programmers, am I right? Hmm. That's a big one. That's probably going to do it. So close yet so far. I feel like there's a way we probably could have won last turn. If the next two cards are lands, I think we were in good shape. I definitely gotta block this guy.
on that guy. So this is five. I don't think there's a card we can draw that actually wins us the game, even if we do this. Like, we kindle this guy to kill this guy in response. But gives us a chance. Hmm. That's not dead. bottom and I'm going to top to the Drake because it's basically free so while it doesn't give us a f oh, an extra land it does let us go Drake into Flight of Fancy this game's surprisingly close but they could just kill us out of nowhere so this guy got seven so we, if we triple block, we just lose a million dudes. And this guy is a 4-3 on blocks. That's everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we either chump it once or we just double block it now. We could have also single blocked... No, we're going to draw the Drake and then play Flight of Fancy. Knowing that, we can actually attack for three and then one of these two if we just chump block. But okay, so they play another Reach creature, so. <sighs> Jesus, it's an uphill battle here. Go. Looking for a black source in the top two cards. So he shoots us to two, shoots us to one, they attack with both. Not ideal. Yep, go to two. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Yep, cool. They drew more haste creatures than we did. Friggin' swamps. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know. I don't understand this format, basically, and I think it's very bomb laden. And, uh,. Not my favorite. I liked it at first. I thought it was really good. I thought the sets were good. Maybe I'm just losing my touch or drafting unpowerful cards, or maybe I'm not seeing the same kind of bombs other people are, but either way, appreciate the support. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on twitch.tv slash if you want to support the channel. If you guys are watching on YouTube, just head over there. Use your Twitch Prime sub. Use your regular Twitch sub and uh, support the channel, please. It's definitely a big help to me and keeping me alive and fed. So uh, thanks for the support. I'll see you guys next time.